Burt Breer talking about the future of the the coaching situation for the New England Patriots. Uh, I have I have a, a take that I do want to get into in a little bit here, but just based off that comment and based off the fact that maybe Robert Kraft would actually move on from Bill Belichick. I mean, we already know that he got he he tested the temperature. He went he last year when things were going bad with Mac Jones, he 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 stepped in. What's the temperature of the situation here? He did that. Um, we probably won't hear from him. I know that, you know, sometimes this time of year, um, he does kind of make an appearance or will give an update on the team or, or something to that degree. But, um, report Robert Kraft has already had discussions about moving on from Bill Belichick. And you just heard it there on the Colin Cowherd show, but he asked Breer, do you believe there are discussions in New England about moving on from Bill? These discussions have taken place. For sure, Robert hears the criticism, he hears the anger locally, and people in the building know for a fact he's hearing the anger from the fan base. He also added the discussions about Belichick have been underway for a while. I think now we're at the point where is it just going to be a flat-out firing? I'm out on that. I don't think Bill Belichick should be a part of the future. That's number one for me. I want to make that clear. I don't think he's a part of this future, but who makes the decision on that? Yeah, clearly it's the coach, or sorry, it's the owner, but in this case, the coaches run the team. I keep bringing up the fact they should trade him. Well, Joe, what's the value? I just go back to Sean Payton. I know the Broncos aren't playing well, but, you know, a first-round pick or a second, you mean to tell me that he's not their best asset and some other team wouldn't want him? So I I'm going to stand by that take. You might hear me say that every single week. If they're just ready to fire fire him, then I just think that's poor asset management again. Tom Brady left for nothing. What'd you get for Rob Gronkowski? Like, these were your greatest players ever. You got nothing for them. This is your best asset you have. If you want a clean house, who's next? I will give you a name. Right? Ben, ben Johnson's going to be the, the big name, right, from, from uh, Detroit. Right? What he's done there. Everyone's loving what he's doing. I'm going to give you a name. Jim Harbaugh. Works well with quarterbacks. Defense. I, here's the deal. This take is not just today. I've, I've had, had this one for a while. And oh boy. Drama today. Regarding the Michigan program. And Jim Harbaugh. Harbaugh already suspended this year. Three games for violations already. And now this comes out. And for those who follow the Big Ten, there's a big game this weekend. Penn State, Ohio State. The three of these teams between Michigan, Penn State, Ohio, they're all going to play each other. And only one comes out on top. So there's a big three there. I, Penn State really doing their, I know they played UMass last week. Now I have to go on the road again. Pretty good defense this year. All this stuff around Michigan has done nothing to them. They haven't been phased. Now, though, these violations of cheating, stealing signals. Does that sound familiar? Does that sound familiar? I know it happened what, however many years ago. I get it. I get it. But if they are, if this team is looking for another coach that can work with a quarterback in field a good defense, Harbaugh's your guy. What Besides winning the national championship, what else does he have to prove? The guy's out there recruiting constantly. He's out there. He's a great coach. He's done it in the NFL already. Now, I don't know if this would have Kraft stay away, or maybe they already have someone in mind. But stealing signs. That, that's what happened. That's what ha happened. I'll give you the story coming up here uh, on the other side in a minute, but there's an investigation going on for a potential st sign-stealing rules violation from Jim Harbaugh. And I mentioned to you he's already been suspended three games this year. I still would like to see the Patriots trade uh, Bill, Bill Belichick. I wonder if he would be able to facilitate that deal considering he runs the Patriots. But 
Uh, we'll let you hear some sound on the other side here, just regarding maybe some funny business uh, that has been going on. But a viol- if a violation is identified, this thing could could get real ugly for the University of Michigan to the point where they might have to move on from Harbaugh. There's some things going on that aren't right. Here it is. <laughs> There's the sound. From Greg Schiano. Remember that name? Uh, at one point, the Patriots offensive coordinator left and went to Rutgers. Play that, play that whole clip again if you got it, Ryan. Let's hear that. Coach, four penalties for your team in the first half. Some that cost you. How do you clean that up in the second half? Well, there's some stuff going on out there, so we just got to slow it down a little bit. There's some things going on that aren't right as well, so oh. we'll talk. Well, just got to keep playing, you know. In the game, we just got to keep playing. All right, thanks, Coach. Corey, back to you. Did Chiano call out sign stealing? I mean, again, part of the Bill Belichick tree, right? Did he call it out? There's some things going on that aren't right. Hmm. I don't know if Kraft would want to get involved with something like that, but I'll tell you right now, best coach available. Best coach. You want to keep Mac Jones? He work, He can work with him. You want to still have a good defense? Harbaugh's your guy. Now he's going to leave college. <laughs> he He's going to leave college. Might be time to pounce.